got a jumper. This is how Resonance of Fate begins, but before it's over, you'll wish that kid had just let her splat on the town square. See, Resonance of Fate is a JRPG, and if you're like most of America, just hearing the letters JRPG is enough to send you into convulsions. It's not to say Resonance is just the same old thing. There isn't a sword or dragon in sight, and the combat focuses on acrobatics that put Keanu Reeves to shame. Resonance follows three whiny mercenaries on their long adventure to the top of a Cyclopean steampunk tower named Basil. You're shaking. No, I'm not. Leave her be. The journey to the Basil's peak will take you up to 60 hours, which is a good thing because it will take you at least that long to figure out the overly complicated combat system. What's happening? What's going on? Attacks are broken into direct and scratch damage types. Scratch damage is dealt by machine guns, direct damage by pistols and grenades. You'll need to use both. Line up the avenue of attack to launch a hero action, but only if your hero gauge is charged. And even if your hero gauge is charged, you can easily be interrupted by any of the multiple enemies you'll be facing. Aggressive maneuvering is required, but will often leave you open to merciless attack. Oh, and if any one of your party falls, it's instantly game over. I think I'd rather get barfed on by a gremlin. Want to start that fight over? It will cost you. Want to start that fight over with full health? It will cost you even more. I'm not giving up now. The complex combat system combined with unforgiving difficulty and coin-sucking respawn requirements will send most sane gamers jumping off the nearest bridge. Combine this with a dated NPC system, all too familiar locales, and a story that just isn't compelling. About the only thing that could make this game entertaining is underage drinking. I'm sure Resonance of Fate will find its fans out there. JRPG enthusiasts that love being tossed into the maw of a crushing combat mechanic and text bubbles have a reason to cheer. I'll take the gremlin barf instead. A 2 out of 5.